Hello everyone. Before we dive in, I want to extend a massive thank you to each and every one of you. We've just hit 1,000 subscribers, and it's all thanks to your incredible support. Today, we're exploring Darek's Boot and Nuke, or DBAN for short. A powerful tool to wipe data from your hard disk securely. If you're preparing to sell, donate, or repurpose your computer, or even throw away your hard drives, you should wipe all of your data. You can do that with DBAN, and understanding how to use it is essential. So, what is DBAN? DBAN, short for Darek's Boot and Nuke, is a free, open source tool that helps you securely erase data from your hard disk. It works by writing over every sector of your hard drive with random patterns or specific data wiping methods. This makes it nearly impossible for anyone to recover what was previously stored, even with advanced forensic tools. Think of it like this. If your hard drive was a chalkboard, DBAN doesn't just erase the writing. It scrubs the board, over and over again, until it's completely clean. Now, here's a key point. DBAN is specifically designed for traditional hard disk drives. It's not recommended for solid state drives, and here's why. SSDs store data differently. They use flash memory rather than spinning platters. Because of this, overwriting data sector by sector doesn't guarantee that the actual cells storing that data are cleared. In fact, using DBAN on an SSD can reduce the drive's lifespan without fully erasing your data. If you're using an SSD, look into tools that support the ATA Secure Erase command, or manufacture specific utilities designed for proper SSD data wiping. So remember, DBAN is a beast when it comes to wiping data from hard disk drives but leave your SSDs out of it. Let's proceed now on how to use DBAN. First of all we need to download the software. Visit the official website at dban.org to download the ISO file. To use the software, you need to create a bootable drive. Use a tool like Rufus to create a bootable USB drive or burn the ISO to a CD or DVD. Now let's go ahead and boot this computer from the USB drive. Make sure you have set the correct settings from the BIOS or just hit the boot menu selector key. Once booted, you'll see the DBAN interface. Some important considerations you need to take into account before using this software. Data recovery. Once a disk is wiped using DBAN, data recovery is virtually impossible. That's the whole point. DBAN is designed to permanently destroy data by overwriting every single bit of it. Even advanced forensic tools or expensive recovery services won't be able to bring your files back. So, double check everything. Make sure you've backed up anything valuable, photos, documents, or license keys before you hit that wipe button. SSD compatibility. As mentioned earlier, DBAN is not built for SSDs. SSDs use something called wear leveling, which spreads data evenly across the disk to prevent certain parts from wearing out. This makes it impossible to guarantee that DBAN's overwrite methods actually touch every piece of stored data. Not only that, using DBAN on an SSD can actually shorten its lifespan because of the unnecessary write cycles it introduces. If you're trying to securely erase an SSD, look for your drive manufacturer's recommended tools or use a utility that supports secure arrays via the drive's firmware. Verification After DBAN finishes wiping your hard disk, it offers a verification step. This checks that the data was actually erased according to the method you selected. It's a great way to have that extra peace of mind, knowing for sure that your data is gone. But keep in mind, this step can add time to the process, especially with the more secure wipe methods like Gutman or DOD 7 Pass. So if you're in a hurry, you can skip verification, but if security is your top concern, let it run. Now let's proceed with the demo. First of all let's see what methods this software offers to wipe data from hard disks. The Quick Erase method. It performs a single pass of zeros over the entire disk. It's fast but less secure. 
RCMP, SITOPS-2, follows the Royal Canadian Mounted Police's data destruction standard, overwriting the disk multiple times. DOD short which performs three passes. It overwrites the disk three times following the US Department of Defense 522.0.22-M standard. DOD 522.0.22-M that performs seven passes. A more thorough version of the DOD short method. It overwrites the disk seven times. The Gutman method. It performs 35 passes with a combination of random and specific patterns. It's extremely thorough but time-consuming. PRNG stream. This one overwrites the disk with pseudo-random data generated by algorithms like Merson Twister or Isaac. I'm going to use a 250 gigabytes hard disk for this. Remember, depending on the hard drive size and the type of wipe you are using, this might take a very long time to complete. I used all six methods on this drive and here are my results. As expected, the Gutman method is by far the slowest. It took several hours to finish on a 250 gigabyte hard disk. But it's also the most thorough, designed for situations where you're dealing with highly sensitive data and you want to make absolutely sure it's gone forever. The DoD 522.0.22-M, 7-pass method also took a considerable amount of time, but significantly less than Gutman. It's a strong balance between security and time. The DoD short and PRNG stream were moderately fast and still provide a good level of data protection. These are solid choices if you're not dealing with classified material but still want peace of mind. Quick Erase was, hands down, the fastest method, but keep in mind, it's also the least secure. It may be fine if you're reproposing a drive for personal use, but I wouldn't rely on it if you're donating, selling, or recycling the machine. As for the RCMP TSITOPS-2 method, it performs similarly to the DoD short, but it's tailored for Canadian government standards. Choose it if you're looking for something a bit more niche, or if you're in an industry that recognizes that standard. So in short, Gutman is used for Mac security, but it takes the longest time to complete. DoD 7 pass is for strong security but long. DoD short, PRNG and RCMP are balanced options. Quick Erase is the fastest, but basic and not so secure. Choose your method based on how sensitive your data is, and how much time you're willing to wait. And there you have it. 6 powerful ways to wipe data from your hard disk using DBAN. Whether you're upgrading, selling, or recycling your PC, DBAN gives you peace of mind that your data is gone for good. If this video helped you, smash that like button, and if you're serious about keeping your digital life secure, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on more tech tools, tips, and tutorials. If you have any questions about which method is best for you, drop a comment below. I do my best to read and answer every single one. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for 1000 subscribers. This community is just getting started, and I'm so excited for what's ahead. Share this video with someone who needs to securely wipe their data and remember. Protect your data. Stay smart. Stay secure.